Welcome back guys and today I'm going to be teaching you a pretty easy concept that is how to find the root how to find the root of an equation that can be a quadratic it can be a cubic it can be a I think it's quantic quantic is for five I don't I'm not sure about four I think it's quadratic yeah quadratic so it's quadratic linear quadratic uh, cubic quadratic and quintic so you want to find the root this is your purpose so how to find the root is actually I've introduced a method in the last video where you did about graphing when we graph, for instance, if we graph something, we can actually find the root by doing it in the left bound, right bound. But today I want to introduce another method that can be faster. It is pretty useful when you want to find the root, but you don't have to draw the graph. When you don't have to um, find like minimum, maximum point, you just want to find the root, it'll be pretty handy for you to use this method. So you go to app. After go to app, you go to number nine, which we are going to also use it for our simultaneous equation, which you are Go through which I will go through in the next two videos. And if you click now, you see the second one simultaneous equation. The first one is polynomial root finder. Polynomials basically is those cubic, kinetic, quadratic, and those ochantic, those are novantic, something like that. I don't know how to say how to address this. So after this, you do enter and you can do an equation. So the order is basically the exponent of your function. For instance, uh, if it's two, you'll be a quadratic because it'll show something like this. I'll show you how does it look like. You have to click graph because the next. Because the screen is usually placed here, right? So the next is actually graph. So I have to click graph. And now you have a, something like this. But if I want, in, uh, for instance, if I want to a, if I want a cubic, so I want the cubic equation, so I can just go three, and you'll actually show us something like this. Okay, so I want to find the rule. So today I want to work it with a quadratic first. So it's easier for you to understand. I want to do a quadratic. So um, now let's start now. It also works for linear as well. I'll show you in case you want to see how does it look, something like this. It's pretty easy to do linear, you usually can do it manually faster than doing exponentially, but some students may not be for quadratic. I, see, I know for like a cubic, you definitely require a calculator to do it fast. For quadratic, some students can do it faster than a calculator. Some students use a minus b um, root method, um, 4ac method, something like a minus b plus minus square root b, b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Some students like the method, but usually we um, usually calculator does it faster for us. So now let's do a quadratic as our ex, um, example. So graph, and uh, which is next, we have two. For instance, two x squared, and now you can actually change it to plus or minus. You, for instance, if I want to do negative three, I can do this. So you'll be plus negative three, the computer, the laptop, uh, sorry, the calculator will be happy for this. But the best method, which is a more clear method, you can just do minus, you can, uh, subtract, this subtract is here. Remember, don't confuse yourself. The minus sign is here, subtract sign is here. And now I can just turn this to three. It'll give me the same thing. Now plus five. So this is our example for this. And you give you go solve. Since the screen is here, you see, since the screen is usually here, the solve is actually graph. So it says no real root found. What does this mean? This means our graph is something that looks like this. This means our graph, for instance, is something that doesn't touch the x-axis. So what does it mean? Our graph is still a parabola, but it doesn't touch the axis. It may be above the axis. Or, or it may be below. So it never. So when y equal to zero, there's no x value, which means the curve doesn't cut into the doesn't cut into the x axis. Okay. So um, now let's hopefully get an example which we can get some root. So for instance, let's do a, a plus. Let's do a plus five, plus five. I hope there's some root. Oh, no real root found again. What a pity. So uh, <laughs> no real root found for that. That's unlucky. So um, let's find. Um, let's do again. Let's do something like a cubic. I think. Sorry, I touched cubic. So let's try cubic to see if we have root for this. Oh yeah. So now we have some root. So for this cubic, we actually have one root only. So it really depends. So some cubic equation can have three roots. Some only have one root, which means it's equal to zero. So it, it is also possible. If you can verify, you can sub this number in, so you can get the result. Okay. So this is all I want to talk about. This is just to help you to find the root. You can definitely also find the root. Going to you, you need to quiz the app with it. Remember, okay. So you all, you can also find the rule. Well, you can draw a graph. For instance, something like this. So just show you guys, in case some people forget about it. So um, we can just draw a graph like this with plus two x, for instance, plus five, and let's graph it. Graph it up, and we'll get a graph. And so for instance, this graph has no real rule because it doesn't touch here. It doesn't touch the x-axis. So you can never find any rule in this case. So for instance, if I try this function, it, does, it will not work, which is a second trace. Yeah, zero is the one we can use to find our root. You can still find it, but definitely it's a wrong root because it's kind of a misleading. See, you will say no sign change. So it kind of, a, you cannot find the root. So it's pretty helpful whether there's a root or not. You can see by the graph, 
or you can enter an equation under this under this app and number nine here you will also tell you whether there's a roof on or no roof on okay so you don't have to care about the other you just to you just have to enter the number of exponents you have for example it can be cubic quadratic quadratic something like that okay guys so this is the end of this video today and next video i'm going to teach you how to solve equations how to solve simultaneous equations using the matrix method see you there